Since 2019, more than a million students have been taken out of American public schools. Some of the families deciding to homeschool when their children were sent home during the pandemic. But a U.S. Census survey also found a noticeable spike in one particular group of families homeschooling, citing worries about safety and what's not being taught in the classroom. ABC's Steve Olson Sami with more. Seven-year-old Tyler Thomas and his 11-year-old sister Zoe are just like most other children in America because they're running late for school this morning. Time to start school. Let's go, Ty. But they don't have to go very far. Homeroom is in a room upstairs at home. Contractions. Remember, we worked on contraction last week. And since the pandemic, more than a million other American families have joined the Thomases, who've decided to pull their kids out of public and private schools and teach their children themselves. In the school year that started in the fall of 2019, there were about 2.5 million homeschool students in America. By the next school year, deep into the public health crisis, it was 3.7 million children. For the school year that's starting now, an estimated 5 million American children are getting their basic education at home. When you look at the school system, there's a traditional way of learning. Everybody is learning the same way, but are we the same? No. We're different. My brain process is different from where your brain process is. She tells us that the needs of her children are a little different in part because they're children of color, which helps explain something else that's new. While the U.S. Census reports that the number of families choosing to homeschool have jumped in every group, there was one group that stood out. In Birmingham alone, there are now enough black parents homeschooling their kids that they've started a new community. Just in the last month, we've had 43 new members join our community. The kids grow up together. Yolanda Chandler and Jennifer Duckworth are the mothers who lead the group and call themselves the Black Homeschoolers of Birmingham. Jamari! My youngest son was actually a victim of racism in kindergarten, first grade. I was not going to give them the opportunity to break his spirit. Right. And that we walked away from that day and we never went back. They told us they've seen way too many scenes like this one at a school in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> where police hauled away a little black girl in the first grade after an assistant principal said she started kicking and screaming over sunglasses she wasn't allowed to wear. And they say they're sick and tired of seeing kids running for their lives at school. Our goal is to create a safe space for black and brown homeschoolers to learn, play, and grow. There are other parents who worry that schools are now being told to stop teaching the truth about racism in America. And they point to these 23 states that either have new laws on the books or are considering new laws that would make it illegal to teach lessons that were just fine a few years ago about sex, gender, and racial history. I believe the you know, curriculums are, is, is whitewashed, to be blunt. And these families are offended that teachers could be told not to tell the true story of what happened to black people in Selma, Alabama, or during the Montgomery bus boycotts. Anyone who might say, you know, you're privileged to be able to teach your children this way. What do you say to those folks? Well, to, I honestly do think that I am privileged. I'm grateful that we have the opportunity to do this. You love your children? I do love my children. I, I do. I sacrifice for those babies, just like my husband, you know, does for us as a whole. But I do. I love my children because they're my gift. They're my reward. And our thanks to Steve Osinsami for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.